Good morning, kids. Come and join me as we learn English 2, Quarter 4, Week 7. Reading short vowel sounds in phrases, sentences, and stories. Reading short vowel sounds in phrases, sentences, and stories is one of the techniques that builds fluency, aids comprehension, and improves oral reading skills. In this lesson, you are expected to read phrases, sentences, and short stories with short vowel sounds and answer who, what, and where questions. Let us read the following phrases and sentences with short vowel sounds. Big hen, vet and cat, has a hat. The dog can wag his tail. The mop is on the map. The man has a big bun. Learning task number one. Read the following phrases, then answer the questions. Write the letter of your answers in your notebook. Number one, tag on the bag. What is on the bag? A. The tag. B. The rug. C. The mug. And the correct answer is letter A, the tag. Number two, a fat man. Who is fat? A, the vet. B, the man. C, the lad. And the correct answer is letter B, the man. Learning task number two. Read the sentences and answer the questions. Write your answers in your notebook. Number one, cat eats rice and fish. Who eats rice and fish? And the correct answer is, Cat. Number two, the hum is in the pan. What is in the pan? And the correct answer is ham. Number three, the man is in the van. Where is the man? And the correct answer is van. Number four, the rat is inside the hat. What is in the hat? And the correct answer is rat. Number five, the rag is in the bag. What is in the bag? And the correct answer is rag. Phrase. A phrase is a group of words without complete thought. Let us read the sample phrases below. In the mud, for my cat, from the sun, at the mat. Sentence Sentence is a group of words with a complete thought. It begins with a capital letter and ends with a period. 
Let us read the sentences below. The cat sleeps in the mat. I have a hat and a cap. Ben has ten pens. Story A story tells a single event or experience that helps you develop your vocabulary and comprehension skills. Let us read the story below that contains short vowel sounds. A polite dog. My dog Bob is a polite dog. It always follows my orders. When I say sit, it sits. When I say jump, it jumps. One day, I asked Bob to look after the food on the table as I go to the store. It guarded the food to make sure that no one comes near it. As I returned, Bob was still there, guarding the food. I am very happy to have a very obedient dog. Learning task number three. Read each sentence. Answer the questions. Write your answers in your notebook. Number one, the fan is on the bed. What is on the bed? And the correct answer is fan. Number two, Dan has a pet hen. Who has a pet hen? And the correct answer is Dan. Number three, the man is on the farm. Where is the man? And the correct answer is farm. Number four, the fish is on the net. What is on the net? And the correct answer is fish. Number five, Sam is holding a pen. Who is holding a pen? And the correct answer is Sam. Learning task number four. Read the story, then answer the questions. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answers in your notebook. In the farm. My family owns a big farm. One day, my cousins Pam and Nam came to the farm. Pam has a pet dog and Nam has a cat. The dog ran to the pen and chased the hen. The cat jumped to the drum and fell on the ground. Question number one, who came to the farm? A. Pam B. Nam C. Pam and Nam And the correct answer is letter C, Pam and Nam Number two, what did Pam and Nam have? A. Dog and duck B. Dog and cat C. Dog and rat And the correct answer is Letter B. Dog and cat 
Number three, where did the dog run? A. In the pen. B. In the dam. C. In the drum. And the correct answer is letter A in the pen. Learning task number 5. Read the story, then answer the questions. Write your answers in your notebook. Nan and Dan. Nan and Dan are brothers. Nan is 8 years old while Dan is 7 years old. They are studying in Mabunga Elementary School. Nan has a big school bag while Dan has a small one. They ride a van with their father in going to school. For question number 1, who are brothers? And the correct answer is Nan and Dan. Question number two What is the size of Nan's bag? And the correct answer is Big. Number three What is the size of Dan's bag? And the correct answer is small. Number four, where do they ride in going to school? And the correct answer is van. Number five, who rides with them going to school? And the correct answer is father. And for the assimilation, complete the paragraph by choosing your answer from the box. Write your answers in your notebook. The choices are story, phrase, sentence. A phrase is a group of words without complete thought, while a sentence is a group of words with complete thought. It starts with a capital letter and ends with a period. A story tells events and experiences. It helps develop your vocabulary and comprehension skills. Until next time, kids!